there. If Northern Valley can get out and kind of set a tempo um, and, and a little bit of a scoring pace, I think that they could be sitting with a little bit more of a comfortable lead. They played more to the pace that Thunder Ridge wanted that game to be at when they played earlier this year. They want to slow things down and really muddy that paint up, and they did so successfully there in Kensington early. Northern Valley wins the tip here. Austin Cox comes into this game averaging just over 13 points per game. She had a really nice um, game against Golden Plains in their last sub-state matchup. We'll see if she can get another one here. Braxton Cox from way outside, and you're going to hear us talk about that a lot tonight. That one was behind that third three-point line. And here on this floor, you can see it's not one, not two, but three arcs that they have to deal with here because the Colby Trojans play here. So you've got the women's collegiate line, which is the black line, and then that far uh, tanner line, light, light tan line. That's the men's collegiate line. And that one that's the furthest in is where the high schoolers have to be behind for it to count for three. But a lot of times you see them behind that second, sometimes even that third line, and it, it, uh, it gets Braxton Cox right there. Going into the paint, Austin Cox, a nice give and go action from her. They're gonna let him play here, it looks like, and I love to see that here. Late in the year, you love to let the teams decide who's going to come out on top. As we get going here, Northern Valley going to be in a straight man-to-man. -man. They'll flip it inside to Cochran. She's going to go in, now hesitate, back out to Ritzke. Three on the way is rattled no good. Bina with a defensive clear of the glass. Yeah, Ritzke, she shoots about 34% from three, but you do not want to leave her alone outside on an island because she will make you pay. Against this 2-3 zone of the Thunder Ridge, Longhorns, Austin will drain a three. She's got five early. Great start for the senior guard here. Exactly what we were talking about at that tip. This is what Northern Valley wanted to do, get out and get some points. Switch off now. Jordan going to guard Ritzke all the way in. And a travel is going to be called as Ritzke picked it up early. Northern Valley just did a straight switch on that. You're going to see it a lot. They're going to do ball screens. They're going to run Ritzke off a dump, multiple screens across the formation to free up their shooter. Yeah, they're going to get really creative with getting her the ball back in her hands because it's not just going to be her running around and you knowing where she is all the time. They're going to get crafty with this. This is going to be a charge as Austin lowered the shoulder just a little too much there going in. Um, that's the only thing that stopped her so far as herself <laughs> in this game. It was a good call. Cochran right in position. Yep. And Austin tried to go through her. Not allowed. Not allowed, indeed. Ritzke, of course, is the left-hander. So it's kind of a different matchup as Horstig goes to the rim, puts it up off, off a glass, and now the ball is loose on the ground. It's going to be a tie-up situation and a travel as she must have came up off of a knee. Yeah, I thought We'll it get it back to Northern jump. Valley. Stripes had a pretty good look at it down there. Northern Valley scored in two of their first three possessions, or two of their first four possessions, excuse me. Braxton open for three on the wing. Shot is up, no good. Battle for the rebound goes to Cochran. Now it's loose on the ground. Jordan's going to be called. Oh, I should have yeah, should have thought that she had a lot of arm on that one, aim, but it yeah, looks she, like the, the officials chose a jump ball instead. It's going to go back to Thunder Ridge according to that possession arrow, but, yeah, I thought Jordan, she needs to be a little bit more careful there because she kind of got tangled more around a leg than I thought a basketball. Ritzke gets around Braxton, but a good help defense by Bina will now force her another into travel. yet another travel as they are letting him play kind of physical on that outside, which probably favors Northern Valley right here because Ritzke is so ball dominant on the dribble. Yeah, I would agree with you on that take. Braxton with it here, They're trying to get over to Delaney's size. That ball is tipped. If they could get Delaney some looks from the outside as well, that would really open things up in that interior where maybe they could start going inside out game, Audrey Bina to their shooters. Reverse layup is good, and what a shot by Cam Ritzke. That was a pretty one. That's, I know being uh, a player in old basketball, when you get one of those to fall, look out, see what's going to happen next. Yeah, you, no doubt about it there. Jordan Cox leaves it short inside. Had two defenders she was trying to go over. Cameron Ritzke going to go out and push. They had numbers in front of them. They're going to try to attack the basket. Must have got enough of the ball there but it comes up short, Northern Valley in pursuit the other direction. Cox will go baseline, Euros around, and in! She scored the bucket! Wow, that was very 
acrobatic there. She didn't get the call the last time down. She got called for the charge, so this time splits the two defenders, puts it up with two hands off the glass, falling. Pretty good shot. That was a circus shot. She's been hot lately. She had 23 on her last night out. She's got all seven of Northern Valley's early in this first quarter. Cochran trying to go baseline. Gets there. Now she has to go all and out. Sides is all over her, and the ball is free. Austin with a stop, and now they're going to try and push. Four on two scenario if they want to keep going. Inside, she'll drop into her sister. Jordan's going to put it up, missed it. Audrey Bina will follow, and she was fouled by number 21 in that. That is Madison Brown. Yeah, you know Jordan's kicking herself a little bit, missing the bunny right there, but Audrey Bina cleaning that up. She averages over 10 rebounds a game, almost 11 rebounds a game. They need to get her to the line, and maybe this could be what could get her going. Thanks for joining us here at Open Spaces Sports. It's time for our sponsors. We'll be back in 60 seconds. After that timeout by Coach Grauholtz, send Bina to the line. Audrey Bina in that last sub-state matchup, she uh, it was a force in every category except for points where she only had one. So she's already matched that here tonight. They need to see if they can get her a little bit more active on the offensive side for Northern Valley here to open it up. She nails them both. She doesn't even use any part of the rim, and that's a good sign for the six-foot sophomore. Trying to get her going on the scoring side really transforms Northern Valley into a different team, especially without Mary Barrett. Of course, was out with that knee injury. Her season and career are done. Yeah, it makes them a little bit more dynamic, able to score at all levels here. Good job by Cameron Risky just beating the defender that time on the cut. That was Jordan Cox trying to keep her in front, but that is a tough task for anybody, freshman regardless. Now J.C. Giphart and Iris Skimper in for Northern Valley. That ball is tipped out of there by Ritzke, tracked down by Austin near half court. They'll reset against this 2-3 zone defense. Sides looking for her first three of the night is up and no good. And Ritzke will come away with it. Sides number two in Division II and three-pointers made on the season. She's got 55 three-point makes in this year. That's a pile. That it's about two a and a half pile. a game. Starla Cochran all the way to the rim, and she'll put her first two points in. Just like that, we're back to only one possession between these two teams. Huskies only up by three. Need to continue that offensive output that they were doing early on here. Leave this shot short. That was number 20, Gianna Horstick, that gets the rebound. 2.39 to go. Northern Valley in a 9-6 lead. Risky working. Ritzke on a clear Jordan. out. Ball's going to be. Oh, they're going to say Risky touched it last. I thought Jordan might have been the last one to hit it, but. Once again, Stripes down there has a better view than I do. So They're only Valley. about mm, 50 yards, maybe <laughs> yeah. 70 yards closer to that one than us. Yeah. No, 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 no. Can't give him it. Can't give it. North back Valley into it. Back into it. They got to identify from the outside shooters all across here from Northern Valley. Bina was calling for it inside, but wisely they continue to run through their progressions as North, or, uh, Thunder Ridge was really looking for that one. Another charge call here as she was trapped on that baseline and must have just used the forearm enough to clear out space. I did not have a good look at that one. You said that last possession. We're about 50 yards away from what's going on down there. And there was a defender in front that time. So we're just going to have to take the word for it. Coach Lewis also didn't see it, so he wants um, – a little bit more of a discussion with the referee. So Austin's going to have to be careful. She's got two here in this first quarter, both on the offensive side. Cochran going to go to the rim. Now she's going to kick back out. Now they get it back to Starla on the inside. She'll fake once. Now she's trapped between Iris Skimper and Bina, and it's going to be a held basketball. Northern Valley will get it back. Under two minutes to go. Northern Valley been quiet lately after the two free throws from Bina. Skip pass here. Three second violation is going to be the call. I believe they got Irish Skimper down there on that far block. So Iris and JC out. Sides and Jordan Cox to check back in. 
After a hot start from Northern Valley, they've gone a little bit cold on the offensive side, but still holding on to a three-point lead. Minute 35 left here in this first quarter of action. This is Chloe Reimer now with it up top. She gets the ball back to Ritzke. Cochran on the wing. They're trying to hit those, those flex cutters. Nowhere to go with it. They have to reset the offense here. And a travel is going to be the call as Cochran started that drive to the basket before she had the ball on the ground, moved that pivot foot, so it'll give it back to the Huskies with a minute 16 nice. left in this first quarter of it action. It was a great quick move by her. If she gets that ball down just a split second sooner, she's got two points because there was nothing in between her and the basket. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think her defender was flat-footed there, so Huskies get a little bailed out that time. Inside they'll go to Bina. She'll turn over the left shoulder, no good. Here comes Cochran to push against Northern Valley's defense. Now with a left-hand dribble down the left side. That was a good contested shot there from Cochran, who was playing defense against Bina and had her deep on the baseline. Here's going to be a foul. I think it's going to go against Audrey Bina. We'll see who they give it to. Three Huskies were in there digging for that ball. The there pack is Audrey. does, and Audrey will pick up the foul. Audrey Bina's first foul, the third against Northern Valley in the quarter. J.C. Gippart checking in. Austin going to check out with those two fouls here in this first quarter. Kick out. Ritzke, deep three coming on. It's going to be no good. J.C. Gippart tracks the rebound. Yeah, and that's exactly how they wanted that play to go, but I think she floated a little further out than Coach Grauholtz would have liked there. But she was, had her feet set and still had uh, almost made that shot, even though it was from way downtown. Ritzke. Steals this one out of the passing lane, trying to go inside out with it. Horstig looking at one, going to fire a deep three and make it, and we're all tied at nine. That was Jenna Barnes in transition, hitting the, the deep three there. And just like that, they are it's all tied back up. J.C. Gebhard has it. Barnes is guarding her, trying to swing this one back around. J.C. going to go baseline, and now she's going to be smothered in there. And that basketball is going to be tied up. Yeah, and that's one thing that you can guarantee with the Coach Grauholtz coach team. You cannot let that ball stick in your hand, especially when you get in that interior and in those corners because they are going to trap you and they're going to wrap it up. Kylie Carlson, Carlson into the game for the Horns with just 6.6 .6 to go. They got to keep the ball, get a shot off here. She'll pull up from three. It's up on uh, no good. <coughs> And that will end the first quarter, 9-9 in this matchup here right in the here Substate Niner. Final. Well, there we go, second quarter coming at you right now as we're all tied at nines and a defensive switch here by the Longhorns as they've gone to a 1-3-1 zone versus the 2-3 that they've gone. Now they're gonna go to the trap and it's yeah, gonna ultimately- it perfectly. You gotta know. When they switch over to that 1-3-1, one, one, that's exactly where they want you to go. They're trying to bait you into throwing it into that corner because that's where they really want to pounce. Here, Braxton Cox pulls it away, but it's poked away from her. Cameron Ritzke gets it back, floats this one up. No good. It's going to stay with the Longhorns as it was touched last by, I believe, Delaney Sides. Jordan Cox to check back into the game for the Huskies. Throwing it in underneath. Is Cochran. They're going to try and feed it to an easy one for Ritzke, but the Northern Valley doubled her. Now bina has got a steal. Northern Valley, only two players in that scoring book right now. Usually uh, throughout the season when we see Northern Valley at their best, they get a lot of contribution from a lot of different players here. Audrey Bina leaves that one short, but she gets her own rebound, kicks this one back out, another short shot. This one from Austin Cox on the outside. Another offensive rebound for the Lady Huskies. Trying to feed that one inside. Not a strong enough pass. It's going to be a jump ball and go back to Thunder Ridge. Kind of an opportunity miss there for the Huskies here in this first minute of the second quarter. That was some of the best looks that they've had at the basket since the first half of that first period of action. Ritzke going to dribble it up here against the full court pressure by the vice grip. Cochran yeah. took a step a little early again, and it's going to be a travel. Yeah, I think she was surprised with how much real estate she actually had in front of her, thinking that there was going to be a defender right on her hip there at the high post, but when they weren't there, 
She had to make a, a split decision, and once again, her feet were moving before the ball. The zone has been tricky for Northern Valley since about the halfway through the first quarter mark. Austin's going to get in there now, and a foul will going to go against a Longhorn, going to put Austin to the line. As a foul will go against number 22, Starla Cochran. Cochran's first foul, first team foul in this quarter. Austin hits the first of two. A 75% free throw shooter this season. She got them both. It puts Northern Valley back in the lead, 11-9. Full court pressure coming from the Huskies. Just trying to make it that Cameron Risky isn't able to just dribble down and have her way here. But a really nice play there by Barnes with the back door cut. Beat Bina there. And all she could do was foul her or give up the easy bucket. Barnes to the free throw line. She made a three in that first quarter. This one off the mark. <clears throat> Mikaeli Carlson will come into the game before the Longhorns, the 5'9 junior. Barnes's second is good. Give her four on the evening. Back to a three-point lead for Northern Valley. I actually think they gave that point to the wrong side, so they'll have to, to switch it. Foul on the interior pass here. Tough. The Longhorn crowd didn't love it. They wanted another one of those jump balls, but it's going to go into a foul. It's going to go against Barnes. Scary pass there. This one also not the best pass inside. Trying to hit Delaney sides as she steps in there. It's going to be poked out of bounds. Norman Valley will have another shot at it here. You got to be crisp on those passes when you're going up. Nice block there from Cochran. Starla. She's going to look to go coast to coast with this one. She's going to get fouled on the way up. It's going to go against Braxton Cox. And so that'll send Cochran to the line. Braxton's first, Northern Valley's second team foul in the quarter. Cochran knocks it in. You were right, now we're all tied at 11. Yeah, they finally got it fixed up there. And the Longhorns can take their first lead of the night with this shot. It is good and they do have the lead. 6-14. If coach is yelling 13 trap, Northern Valley needs to know what's coming, don't they? 1-3-1, one, one. don't dribble in those corners. And if you're going to be there, that ball cannot stick too long. This is going to be a foul as Bina got body checked as she got the ball at the high post, trying to turn and find a Husky cutter on the block. It's going to be the first foul against Cameron Ritzke. Northern Valley standing around a little too much right now against this zone defense. Braxton with it on the wing. Now they'll get it to Austin. 5.52 here to go. Northern Valley, it's Braxton Cox dribble here on the wing, the senior guard. Trying to go back door, she does. Now to drop past her sides on the corner, no good. Out, in. And the travel is gonna be called as the catch there from Austin Cox. The shot would have been good if they could have had it without the turnover. But nonetheless, Thunder Ridge has the ball up one. Five minutes and 30 seconds left before the halftime break. We knew this was going to be a, kind of a low-scoring mugging match here. Jordan's going to come away with that deflection off of Braxton. She's going to go through and put it up. No good. She got a, a rebound. Now she's dribbling around the baseline. She'll dribble out of it. Great handles from the freshman right there. Austin will float it up, no, no good. good. It'll go off of Thunder Ridge and out of bounds. 
Yeah, like you said, Clint, this is one of those. This is one of those games. This is exactly how we kind of predicted it was going to be a back and forth matchup. It was going to be physical between the two squads. And that's exactly what we've gotten so far. Braxton open for three. We'll let it go and comes off short front end. Sides has it. Was fouled. She's going to go up. She's going to shoot two shots from the free throw line. A good opportunity. And once again, you got to release the ball. Yeah, yeah. Got to release. You the never ball. know. It might go in. Her first attempt is no good. Husky's trying to get another player in that scoring column. Sides is up and good. Ties us back up at 12 points apiece. Barnes has it working against Bina out wide. Trying to Deep three by Starla is going to be no good. Rebound, fought four and one by Ritzke. And now a hell oh. ball was called. Northern Valley has the favor on the arrow. Yeah, and I, honestly, I kind of thought that she might have got away with a little bit of a shove there on the clear out trying to get that rebound. So uh, all things considered, at least she didn't pick up a foul. Sides is open in the corner for three, and it's up, and it's going to be off the mark no good. But Jordan's got an offensive rebound. Now she's going to try and go baseline. It's going to go off of her foot and out of bounds. Yeah, and that was good defense by Carlson right there. Delaney Sides was left alone in the corner, but Carlson quick to close out on her. It looked like Delaney rushed that shot a little bit more than she would have liked. Four twenty-eight to go. As Ritzke is content with letting her teammates facilitate this offense. Cochran drives it. And now it'll stay here with that because Bina, I think, had a hand on it. We'll keep the possession for the Horns as they'll play it in oh, over there by the three-point line. Britsky looking for a teammate here. She's got five. She's got three seconds to get this in. She'll float it up. And now a shot is up. No good. Offensive rebound. Kick out. Three-pointer is on the way. Off the glass. No good. But Barnes another offensive rebound. It. Down low. It's a charge. <laughs> yeah, a lot of contact creating space, but it's going to go against Bina. And she tried to wrap that ball up. Third foul against Bina, and that is a big foul as Northern Valley only has two on the bench. They do not have the depth to have foul troubles. Iris Coach Gipper. Dean Lewis knows it. He says he's got to pull in. Now you got to pull your weight. Freshman Iris Skimper. Both free throws good for number 21, Madison, Madison Brown. Brown. Ball tipped out of the air by Ritzke. And a foul is going to go on the other side against Braxton Cox as she swipes down to knock that ball away from Ritzke. Northern Valley right now has been very sloppy with their passes, which is leading to a First lot of their foul, issues. It's going to be the second foul. foul against Braxton, fourth on the team. Both teams now sitting at four fouls in the second quarter. Ritzke hits that first free throw attempt, giving them the three-point lead. Second one and up, and more of the same. She hits it as well. They've hit seven of eight free throws here in this second quarter. They haven't scored a field goal. Thunder Ridge with the line with the lead. Inside, they try to float it for Skimper. It's going to be off the mark, and here comes Thunder Ridge again. Austin cannot foul, and so. Yeah, and this is going to be a foul against Barnes as she was trying to chase that rebound but ran into the back of a Husky. So we'll see who it sends to the line. I think it's Austin Cox. Since that is the fifth foul, it goes into the double bonus. We're going to have a lot of free throws here in the last three minutes and 40 seconds of this second quarter. Austin's shot is up and good. She now has 10 of the Huskies' 13 points. Coming into the game is Hannah Nelson. Oh, excuse me. That's Gianna Horsdig for the Lady Longhorns. 
Second one is up and good as well for Austin Cox. Chloe Reimer checks into the game for Thunder Ridge. Both teams trying to escape this first half with little fouls from here on out. I want to get to the we'll second half. We'll see if it can be accomplished. Cochran has it up top. Over to Horsdig, goes inside to Ritzke. She's working against Braxton Cox in the paint. Her shot up too strong. Rebounded by Austin Cox. She's got her eyes up trying to find a way to score in transition. Austin open on the side now. Huskies need to clean up these passes on the offensive side. They've had a lot of turnovers. Thunder Ridge has done a nice job jumping those passing lanes. This pass goes out of bounds. Couldn't connect with Jordan Cox at the low post. It gives it back to Thunder Ridge. They hold on to the two-point lead over the Lady Huskies. More than behind a full court man-to-man. -man. As Ritzke will dribble with her right hand. Braxton forcing her that direction. Now all the way out high. Their offense is operating a long ways away from the basket. Try to float it inside is going to be just off the mark, which is a good strategy, Austin, with those fouls. You want to get another one picked up on her. Yeah, it is. And, and good shading of the hand by Braxton right there, not letting uh, Ritzke use her dominant hand. However, she is a good enough player that her right hand is still pretty good. This is just a lofty pass. Gets taken out of the air by Ritzke again. She'll Euro step, and she's going to no. get called for the travel instead. <laughs> Looked like a clean Euro step to me, even though it was further away than she probably would have liked to start that process. Gives the ball back to the Huskies. She's got her hands to the sky going. Yeah, she's wondering the same thing we are. Ground holds, <laughs> ground holds tolls her, just keep playing, girl. Just keep your nose down and you keep bet. grinding. J.C. Gebhardt comes into the game for the Lady Huskies, kicks it back over to Austin. As Northern Valley works with 2.10 to go here in this quarter. Back to Austin it goes. She'll have to penetrate a little bit here into this zone to maybe we'll make it happen. Deep three by Austin. It's going to be off the front iron. Yeah, that was very deep. JC <laughs> tries to save it. She just gives it back to Horsdig. So the Longhorns are in pursuit again. Starla Cochran going to put her foot on the gas, leaves it short. It's ripped away by Austin Cox after the miss. Austin in transition here. It's a good place for her to go. And all the way to the rim, and she'll make it. And one opportunity as Austin kept on the gas pedal and got all the way to the rim. Yeah, and that was a good move by the senior right there. They have not had a lot of opportunities really close to the basket, and our replay button's not working again. Still. But not Northern Valley. It's been few and far between having looks right up next to the basket because of this zone from the Longhorn. So right there, she was able to split the defense the way that she wanted, and she was able to get to the hoop and was rewarded with not only the bucket, but a trip to the line to try the old-fashioned three-point play. And she rattles it in. She now has 13, make it 14 after the make from the free throw line. Now Jordan is going to have to match Ritzke because Braxton is on the bench. Drives to the rim, floats it up, and puts it in. Great nice shot, shot by, by Cam her. Ritzke. Yeah, defender on her hip still gets it to go. 18-17, Thunder Ridge with that shot, regains the lead. Goes inside. She's going to be fouled. Looks like that's going to go against Madison Brown, who is guarding Jordan Cox on the high post, and it's going to send Jordan to the line. Brown second. Too many for Thunder Ridge will put Northern Valley at the stripe. First one is good from the freshman, Jordan Cox. This is number 11, Peyton Tweedy into the game for the Lady Longhorns. She got one, she got two. Northern Valley from the free throw line. Yeah, both these teams from 11, the free throw line. 11, nine of 11. Both these teams are making it count when they get to the stripe, which has been quite a bit here in this first half. 19-18, Huskies take the lead again. A minute and five seconds left before the halftime break. Risky with a 
Little dipsy do shot there, no good. Starla Cochran gathers the rebound. Picks up her dribble. She's trying to find somewhere to go with it. Ritzke goes and helps her out. Ritzke looking to find something to do with 50 texts left to go in this first half. Cochran with it. Pump fake trying to get it into Ritzke. Now they'll go out. This is Reimer for three. It's going to be no good, but an offensive rebound will be put up. No good. And now Sides will knock it out of Cochran's hands. Yeah, and I think Northern Valley got a little lucky right there. They gave up two offensive rebounds with two really nice looks right at the bucket. They cannot afford to give up that many looks, especially in a game where you're really trying to limit fouls from here on out. They Ritzke. go inside to Ritzke. Ball knocked loose. Now she's going to pick it up. And no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one looked like it was blocked <laughs> by Iris Skimper. But who did they give it to? Personal foul number three, Delaney Sides. Delaney Sides. First against Delaney Sides, it sends Ritzke to the line. These loose balls have been troublesome for both teams. It's not um, allowing them to keep their positioning, and it's really hurting the defenses. Ritzke, nothing but net on that first shot. Knots us at 19 again. Ritzke remains perfect from the free throw stripe. Four for four here in this Second quarter. Give her Four, ten five, points. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're nine of ten from the free throw line here in this quarter are the Thunder Ridge Longhorns. 20 seconds left. Northern Valley trying to find a nice shot here. This one's going to be begging to the left from Delaney's side. She's trying to get going. No! They award the timeout. It looked like the ball was free. You can hear the Northern Valley crowd <laughs> over there getting into it. It's key. I guess they aren't taking out the full court, man. <laughs> you got to make life hard for her. Coach Lewis barking. He wants Jordan to deny, and I think that is a great plan. A little bit of cleanup work down low there underneath the cylinder. Eleven and a half seconds. Thunder Ridge up by one. Trying to get another shot here to go before the halftime break. They'll play it in. They're trying to float it up for Ritzke. She does get it. Now she'll give it up to Cochran. Trying to go back right. And a double, double dribble, dribble is going to be called by on Cochran. Northern Valley will get the last shot. Austin will dribble now with five, four. Inside out, three-pointer on the way by sides. Could be a big one. And, and she it hits! What a big first three to go for Delaney. Sides hitting it at the buzzer to go into halftime. 866-312-2257. Second half action is begun. Clint Cox and Aim Baird. First possession for the Horns. Well, they're not going to stay in the man-to-man. -man. Looks like all starters who started the game are back in it for both respective squads. And yet another travel by Cochran will be a lead to a turnover on the first possession for the Horns. Yeah, Bean is going to have to play careful inside with those three. You know, Grauholtz is aware of that. Is going to say, hey, take it into the teeth of that defense and go after Audrey Bina because it really does uh, change the dynamic when you don't have your six-footer inside that averages over three blocks a game. Huskies on their first attempt here in this second half. Nice defense by Ritzke. Going to get a squeeze pass to Jordan. Has a tough handle, but now she corrals it on the dribble. Got to be careful in this corner. They're trying to get him trapped down there. They do escape. Back awesome. to Braxton. It goes kind of a tough possession here for Northern Valley. Now they'll move it around to sides. Delaney hit that last second shot there before the halftime break to give the Huskies the lead. We'll see if they can continue the hot hand with her and get her a couple more looks outside. Austin with it now. She'll spin around, jump shot coming, and she'll knock it down. She starts the second half as hot as she started the first. Yeah, she's really elevated that mid-range jumper this season. You usually, uh, the last couple of years, she's really been a slasher, but she can still do that certainly as well. But adding this one to her repertoire has really made her a three-level scorer. This goes 
It looked like it went between the legs, but it probably did get a little it bit. Did. Of, it did. <laughs> but it looks like it was a perfect nutmeg there, accidentally so, but it does stay with the Longhorns. As they'll try and score off of this inbound. Get it to Cochran. Working on sides. Floater is up. Floater is no good. Offensive rebound by Starla, but she stepped out of bounds. Yeah, she, she ripped that ball away, which initially looked like it was going to be a jump, but just making the more physical play there. But unfortunately, Heel was on the line, giving it back to the Huskies. Northern Valley started out that first half hot, scoring the first five points of the game, was up 7-2. to two, And then we ended that first quarter of action tied 9-9. to nine. So... Northern Valley here looking like they're going to try to do a little bit more of the same. Hopefully, though, they can keep that momentum if you're a Huskies fan because we did talk about this game probably favors more the Thunder Ridge side of things. They want to slow things down, have it be close, adjust their style of play. Northern Valley would love to get out in front and have a little bit of breathing room against probably Thunder Ridge, which is the more physical team, I would say. This ball go over to Thunder Ridge. Yeah, opportunity miss for the Huskies. Gives it back to Ritzke and the Longhorns. Cameron will dribble up with the right hand. Now she'll cross back over to her dominant left. Working over some high ball screens. Now she's going to get freed up. Northern Valley doing a great job of help defense. Three-pointer on the way. It's going to be good. Big shot there from number 21, Madison Brown. She was set up and ready to go, and Ritzke knew that she could pull the defense fence inside with her on the dribble. The foul is going to be called. Who are they going to get with it this time? It looks like number Personal foul. number 20, uh, number 20 Estiana Horsdig. Just Sides the first on her. Inside to Braxton. Tough handle. Now Ritzke's going to jump out in front of everybody. Euro Wheel and deal step. around. Jump ball is the call. You got to get that ball up, especially against a Thunder Ridge squad like this. They are going to be grabbing that thing if it's anywhere around the waist. The arrow does keep it with the Huskies. As they cling to a one-point lead. Braxton Cox has it on the wing, finds Delaney in the corner. They're trying to swing this ball around, sticking a little bit. In the Huskies' hands, they're trying to get it into the interior there, and they are having no such luck. That is, I believe, the third turnover on three possessions down low. I think you're correct. Now here's Ritzke going to work on the man-to-man. -man. Now she'll float it to Cochran. Puts the ball down. Now back to Ritzke it goes. Cam with it. Grauholtz calls out a play. Yeah, they're, I think they're, they're saying take it at Bina. Because she's got those three fouls and she's playing that far out, she cannot afford to be flat-footed out there on the drive. Austin drop inside for Bina. She left it short. And a rebound by Thunder Ridge, Madison Brown. Yeah, no time to hang your head after the missed shot. Madison Brown and the Longhorns now looking to take this one in transition. There's a foul right there against Brown as she gets caught on the backside of Austin Cox. Just unfortunate positioning for her, so she picks up that foul. Her third foul of the game. Madison had just hit a three as the only points for the Horns here in this second half, but now she'll have to go to the bench. Carlson comes in for her. Sides with it in the corner. Tries to go inside. Yeah, she threw just, it away it again. just wasn't there. She had it pre-planned in her head. And when that throwing window wasn't there, it was too late. Cochran now gets it over to Horsdig somehow. Her shot just off the front iron. Delaney Sides gets the rebound. Northern Valley going to go in transition here with Austin. Skip pass, wide open three. Braxton on the way. It's up and it is no good. Northern Valley Sides with an offensive board. She'll float it up. No good. The struggle is real. They've only got two points here in this quarter. The struggle is real. Not like Thunder Ridge is scoring much more, though. They only have three in this quarter. It's just been a defensive grind here in the first half of this third period of action outside of the halftime break. Delaney Sides fires away the three. She's off the mark. It's rebounded by Carlson. 
Cochran will dribble it across. And now a Easy turnover. There is, took a step. Ball never hit the floor. Barnes gives it back to the Huskies. Reimer will come in, I believe, for her. Why not stop by at Almena or Norton's locations and visit them online at equitybank.com to let them show you why equity means more. Dangerous skip pass here. Goes through the legs of Austin as her and Jordan both thought that the other was going to get that pass. Northern Valley struggling right now with unforced turnovers, I would say. You're good. You're good. Inbounds to Ritzke. Still looking for her force points of this second half of action. This one, they're going to get a foul call, I guess, against Braxton Cox. It looks like Risky kicked it out of bounds, but must have been on the arm before that happened. Foul will go up against Braxton. That's Braxton's second, I believe. That's what I thought it was their third personal foul. So Braxton and Bina playing with three. This is going to be a jump ball as there was a hand on that one on the way up, but the jump ball arrow, possession arrow, keeps it with the Longhorns underneath. As Coach Darren Grauholt calls out yet another play. Find Cochran in that short corner. She gets away with a little bit of a walk there. Look. This is the shot. Braxton Cox trying to get a bucket in transition because buckets have been hard to come by. They had Bina left all alone, but the pass was left short. Delaney side somehow ends up with it here. Carlson rips down the board. I don't know if this game is going to come down to Somebody's got to do something on the offensive end. Who <laughs> Somebody's got to hit a shot. Yeah, right now, both of these offenses struggling right now. Braxton Cox pokes it away from Cochran at the high post. Takes it the other way. Austin to get a good calling look. for the basketball. She'll get into the middle of the lane. Now a foul will be called. Just the third foul on Thunder Ridge on the half. It's going to be the... Horstig picks up her second. Her second, Austin with a back, thought about a three. She needs to be ready to shoot that ball. She does. She has been the offensive scoring for Northern Valley in this game. She's got it now. She'll get it into the interior. Floater is up, and floater's good. She's got to get more aggressive, Aim. She, she does, and, and the looks have been there. The ball is sticking in Northern Valley's hands right now, and against a zone, that is fatal because you can see the two top players of this 2-3 zone looking to pinch the top of the perimeter right there and it's been successful so far. Barnes on the cut gets it to go. Just slow by the Husky defense. Had him beat on the cut down the lane with the easy layup. Austin with it on the wing now. High post tough pass to Bina. She'll go in one dribble on the inside. Put it up. No good. Struggled from that mark. Kick it back to Austin. Thought about a three. Well, they'll go to the floater and rattle it. No good. Smothered by the Husky defense. Dribbling out of there. Here comes Barnes. Barnes. She'll take it across the timeline. Burner dribble. She gets it to Cochran, who will fire the three in transition. No good. On the Valley with a one-point lead. 48 seconds to go here in the quarter. Sides with it. Three-pointer on the way from the third three-point line. That's... Going to be short one more time. That nemesis of that three-point line is ear in its face from both teams. They're both taking too deep of threes. They don't have to take that. Yeah, it just puts them. He doesn't take much to be off your mark here because a little bit goes a long ways from outside. You see it on the other end right there. You just said it's plaguing both teams. They both miss these ones. A lot of contact here. They're going to call the travel. going to be a turnover. Give it back to the Longhorns. Up by one is the Huskies. 16.3 to play. 
They've done a nice job limiting Ritzke here in this third quarter. She has yet to score a bucket. Goes behind her back, runs into her own teammate. She gets it to Barnes to avoid trouble. Five seconds left. They're trying to find Ritzke to get something to go. Her shot is up no good. 25-26. We go into the last eight minutes of this game to decide who goes on to the finals. Northern Valley up by one. Four last time these two teams played, Northern Valley had the lead going into that final quarter of play, but it was close enough that it's still anyone's ball game, and Thunder Ridge came away the victors in that one, but it means more this time because you don't get a redo. This is you lose, you go home. Sides with it here. Squeeze inside pass for Braxton. She has to rip it free. Now a three by or two by sides is on the way. Going to rattle, no good. Ball free, here comes Cochran with it. Slows things up, waits for her team, gives it to Ritzke. They find Cochran again at the high post, give and go action. It's ripped away by J.C. Gebhardt. At the scores table, Bina and Austin Cox. Gebhardt has it, has to go to Jordan Cox in the corner. Trying to get it inside still. It has Starla been Cochran tough. has been amazing on the defensive block, being able to get her hands on almost every basketball. To the rim is going to be no good as Ritzke had it partially blocked. Both these teams look a little gassed as well, don't they, Amy? They've looked gassed since about midway through that third quarter of action, but, you know, you got to find that extra gear. And this is where the war of attrition really goes into play because, like I said, it's this game. If you don't get it, you're going home and your season's done. So all of these players, both sides, need to find that extra gear and, and try to finish out the last six minutes and 42 seconds strong. Austin and Bina back in. Bina with a pump fake. Now she's going to go in. Irish Skimper shot is away on the key. Jordan with an offensive rebound will give another possession here to Northern Valley. Her little short jump shot is good. Her first field goal of the night. Yeah, found a little bit of room there and makes Thunder Ridge pay. Northern Valley with a three-point lead. Jordan just took it away from everybody. Now she's going to get out in front. Jump shot, wait for it. Now she'll get another offensive board. And Bina will stick it back. Not pretty, but it'll be two points for Northern Valley. Not pretty at all, but it gets it done right there on the defensive side. Though It looks like Jordan, option, or Jordan just read that triple option play perfectly, didn't she? She did. Double ball screen coming. Risky goes to the left. Starla will fire the long three. It rattles in and out. Bina with the board. Gets it out to Austin. Northern Valley now up to a five-point lead. Austin continues to go in, kicks it back to Jordan. Now Ritzke with a steal. She'll slow things up and wait for her crew to join her on this side of half court. Horsdig has it out wide. Long three-pointer attempt is going to be no good again. Three-pointers have not been kind to either team in this night. No, they have not. I do not know the percentages that both of these squads are shooting, but I know that they would not be the prettiest numbers that either team has put up this season. Gebhardt has it out wide, puts the ball on the floor, gets it to Jordan Cox in the corner. She wants to drive baseline, goes around Cochran, and she's fouled on the way up. Nice move there by the freshman to slide around Cochran, who has made life so tough for the Huskies right in the paint right there. She has been a force and has been the reason that there hasn't been a lot of points down low in the interior coming for the Huskies. But here, Jordan finds enough room to slide around her and gets to the line. we got a full timeout coming. We'll hear from some large animal care. It's all available at all Creatures Vet Clinic, supporting the Northern Valley Huskies athletically and academically. Out of the break, Jordan Cox finds herself at the line for the second time this evening. Hits the first of the two. Every free throw means a little bit more here in the fourth quarter. She leaves this one begging. Goes 50% on that trip. Starla Cochran has it in her hands. Going, trying to get something going in transition. She's stopped by the Husky defense. 
It looked like it was poked out by Ritzke, but they're going to keep it here with the Longhorns. So they'll get another shot at it with 440 left in this game. Huskies now up by six. The Longhorns need a positive offensive possession here. Out to Brown. She'll fire one away. Gets it not to fall. It looked like it was going to be good. Starla Cochran with the offensive rebound leaves it begging as well. Northern Austin Valley Cochran. dodged a bullet there. They did two good looks at the basket. Neither of them going. This is going to be Austin Cox going to the line. We talked about it a little bit, but she has been the offense for the Huskies here in this game. She needs to continue to stay aggressive and know that she can do exactly what she just did right there. She doesn't have to force it into the lane, but if the opportunity rises, she can get to the line because she is a 75% free throw shooter on the season, and she's been hitting from there tonight. That shot puts her at 19. Perfect six for six from the line. I got enough confidence in her to give her the old announcer jinx. Make it seven for seven <laughs> for Austin. There you go. Shakes and the biggest the lead of the shake. night is eight now for Northern Valley. Ritzky has it working over a ball screen. She goes to the lane, and she is fouled on the way up. Bailed out there. She left it short. We'll see who got her on the arm. It's going to be Delaney Sides. It's going to be the second on Delaney. It's probably good it was on Delaney because it would have been the fourth on Bina if it was on her. Ritzky. Also perfect from the free throw line here tonight. Held scoreless until that point right there here in the second half. She had 10 in the first. She goes two for two there, give her 12 on the evening. Yeah, but this is where she kind of did her damage in that first half. That second quarter, she found herself at the charity stripe a lot more where she is such a good shooter. They've She's gone to a 1-3-1 which is different than their 2-3 that they've been running. Yeah, I like the change right here, keeping Northern Valley guessing. They poke the ball away. Northern Valley is going to throw it They're not going to guard underneath. sides and watch out here. Oh, they heard you. <laughs> they did hear me. Actually, Grauholtz pointed it out. Back for sides. Now Braxton, three on the way. Could be a big one for her. It's no good. Jordan's got an offensive rebound. We'll touch it back to Austin. As now a foul on Ritzke out high. She's still got to get aggressive as her team is down five with 3.45 to go. Yeah, you don't hate that foul. It's only the second on her, but like you said, they're down two possessions right now. They need to create chances for themselves because Northern Valley can burn a little bit of this clock if you just let them. Going inside, Jordan Cox puts the ball on the ground. A lot of contact, and it is called. She made a quick move to the interior, then bodies collided. It's going to go against Cameron Risky as well, so she's at three, four on the Longhorns here in this fourth period of play. As Northern Valley will play it in underneath with Austin Cox. That ball was tipped. Braxton wisely tracks it down. Sides kind of trapped in the corner. Now Ritzke's got a steal, and she traveled with it before it she got going. Ball. Another lucky break for the Huskies, though, because there was nobody she was going to have two points. make it back. Owen Valley needs to take care of this ball. Up six. They burn the dribble and they're jumped right here. A foul is the call, and I thought oh, that's Austin lucky. Got, I thought Austin got bailed out a little bit because there was nowhere, nowhere to go with the rock that time. And the worst part about it, if you're a Longhorns fan, it sends Austin back to the free throw line. Where she has been perfect in this contest so far. Continues the hot streak, making the first. Second one does not go. And Ritzke with the basketball going to try and get all the way to the rim. She's going to have to go around Bina this. Oh, God. A blocking call. <laughs> They're going to get Bina with it, and it's going to be her fourth. Personal foul number five, Audrey Bina, her fourth. Second 
team foul at the line for the Longhorns, number 12. Sends Ritzke to the line, who has also been perfect in this contest, though, so far. Continues those perfect ways with that first make. That's your announcer's jinx. We'll see. Cameron been on fire, looking to go eight of eight, and she does from the stripe yeah. here in the game. She don't care what I say. Eight for eight from the free throw line, three field goals, and now they've gone to a full court press. Braxton will squeeze it into Jordan now, three on one. Jordan back to Audrey. Swing it around. Northern Valley needs to be patient here. To sides in the corner, three up, three off the mark, and Ritzke will get the rebound down. Now a five-point game here with Cameron Ritzke. Ritzke, of course, battled knee injuries the last two seasons. A big three coming in there as that's going to be left short. And they're going to say it stays here. She threw it in and hit Delaney sides. The Northern Valley crowd thought that she got a foot down while she was doing that. Great play by Ritzke. Yeah, but nonetheless, she is rewarded for the effort. They kick it out to Ritzke. Deep three coming from her. She is no good on that shot. Austin Cox gets the rebound. Two Wisely slows things down. Northern Valley was speeding up the play and intensity into the hands of Thunder Ridge. Coach Lewis takes the timeout, wants to talk about how they're going to play these last two minutes and 25 seconds of the time outbreak. We'll see what adjustments both of these squads make. It's a five-point ball game to decide who will go into the finals here in this sub-state between Northern Valley and Thunder Ridge. Austin playing it up high, and they turn the ball over. Barnes going coast to coast with it. Her shot no good. A lot of People touching it, it's going to stay with the Longhorns, though, as Austin was the last one to get her hand on that basketball on that baseline. That's not what the Huskies needed out of the break. They needed to take care of the ball and chew a little clock and be patient and wait for that good opportunity to strike. Instead, they put the ball back in the hands of Thunder Ridge. This and now a steal by sides will get it back to Northern Valley. And they'll try to bleed this clock out a little more. Little two-man game out top here. And Cox fires it into sides, and the bucket is good. And that's what we were talking about, being patient, chewing clock until the opportunity rises where you can take that strike, make them uncomfortable and to come and get you, create, creating opportunity because you get that defense out of position. Here, they turn the ball over. Northern Valley with it again. As Braxton has it, we'll flip it to Austin. Austin kicks it over to Delaney Sides in the corner. Skip pass over to Starla Cochran. That is not a wise, that's Carlson, excuse me, but that is not a wise move in a game where they have made it almost impossible to go across the paint. Cameron looking up at the clock going, she knows that she's got to go. And this is a big foul here if it goes against Bina because it's going to be number five on her. Looked like it's going to go before that, though, I believe. It was Bina got the block, but it was before that. Got somebody on the arm. I think it was Braxton who's going to get the call. But it's Bra Braxton's fourth as well. So both, both players sister, sister with, with four. four. <laughs> Pretty quick jump ball there, but it stays with the Longhorns. Is there a time... On, on jump balls or is it discretion? It's dual held possession is how it's labeled. Benefits like shopping and travel discounts, protection on your... Coming back here at Open Spaces Sports, Clint Cox and Aim Baird as we're with 1-10 remaining in this one. We Thunder Ridge a needs bit. a basket. Northern Valley going into more of a 2-3 zone look on that inbounds play. This ball goes begging and it's the curse of those three three-point lines yet again that shot came from outside the collegiate men's three-point line and that is so hard for any team that plays in this gym austin will break the press here on a dribble get it back, it back to braxton up. and now they'll skip it to sides 50 seconds left northern valley just wanting to cook a little off this clock thunder ridge though needs to go make something happen 
And Northern Valley more than content to just throw it around the bucket. Throw it around every which way. Yeah, Coach Lewis did a nice job preaching that to his team. But they do give it away here. Who's this going to be off of last? It's going to stay with the Huskies as they're going to say Ritzky was the Jumped last one Jumped into a passing it. lane. But she was falling out of bounds, had to flip it back over. Northern Valley's got to get this basketball in, and they do to Jordan. Go get it. Austin Dutt. 25 seconds left. Doing what they need to do. She burns her dribble here. And the foul finally comes. Going to send Braxton to the line. I think they were avoiding fouling Austin because she has been Near so perfect. good from the line here tonight with only one miss. But it's getting to that point in the game where you don't really have the leisure to pick and choose who you want to foul to create those possessions. Braxton's first shot is up and no good off the front iron. Three subs will come into the game for the Longhorns. Reimer, Tweedy, as well as number 14, that's Jasmine Ferguson. And Grauholtz is calling off the dogs as the hugs are given over there to Cam Ritzke and Starla Cochran as well. It was a heck of a game. We knew that it was going to be a back and forth battle and a low scoring physical game, a dog fight for sure. And we got just that. But this time, Northern Valley looks like they're going to come out on top and survive and advance. And survive is the key word there as this was anyone's ball game up until the final couple of possessions where Northern Valley did just what they needed to do to put this game on ice and go into the finals, which will be played tomorrow at 6.30 here in the Colby Event Center. We'll bring you that action as well.